Today we're going to talk about the optical end stop on the Roomba board. Now I need to review a couple of quick things with you about our pins. For the end stops, the pins are located over here. This first row over here is positive for the pins. The next row in the middle is negative or ground. And the very last row is our digital pins or signal pins. So now if we go starting with this row in this direction, these are our X min pins. This is our X max pins. This is our Y min pins. And this is our Y max pins. Then we have our Z minus or min pins. And we have our Z max pins. So in a moment, I'll explain how the optical end stop works and how to connect it. Okay, here's the top of the optical end stop. There's a field in here that once it's broken by a solid object like filament or some object like, for instance, this dental pick, will create a circuit which will then be sent to the pins via the signal pin saying that there's a connection or an end stop. So in a moment, I'll flip it over and show you the bottom side and what we need to know. So here's the underside of the end stop. And as you can see, there's a V, an S, and a G. Now the V stands for voltage, the S stands for signal, and the G stands for ground. So in a second, I'll show you how to connect the cabling to it and set it up on the Roomba board. Okay, as you can see, there's a notched connector here, which I'm gonna use the notched ribbon cable for. So I'm gonna use the notch connector on it. I'm gonna place that in there. And then on the other end, I've traced out the colors for each one of these. So red is gonna be voltage, blank is gonna be signal, and black is going to be ground. So in order to connect this, we need to go over to the board for the pins, and we need to connect red on our first pin, then black on our next pin, and then finally, signal on the end for our X min, and then in order to program it, we need to connect the cable for programming. So we're going to use the big end for the computer and the small end for the board. So I'm going to place the connector in here. And then in a moment you'll hear a beep when I connect to the computer. And in a moment I'll show you in Marlin how we're going to program it. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is open up the Marlin folder that's called marlin-bugfix-1.1.9-bugfix and then we're going to open up the Marlin subfolder and the first thing we want to do is go to the boards folder or excuse me, not the boards folder, the boards file for boards.h and open that up. And we're going to do a search on Roomba. And as you can see, the board name that we're going to use is going to be board underscore Roomba. So we're going to copy this. We're going to close out of the boards.h file. We're going to press M on the keyboard and open up the Marlin solution file or INO file for Arduino. Okay, now that we're in the Marlin Arduino solution file or INO, we're going to go to configuration.h. We're going to do a search on motherboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore EFB 
with what we copied out of the boards.h file and pasted here. So it's going to be board underscore Roomba. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to search on end stops. And as you can see, there's a whole category for end stops here. So we have use xmin plug all the way to use zmin plug. And what that means is that these are the ones that are actually usable, whereas the ones below that are use xmax all the way to use zmax are commented out. If we were to choose to use one of these, we would remove the comment. But in this case, we're going to skip that for now because we don't need them. And we're going to check before we load our firmware that we have a port selected for the Roomba board, which we do. It's COM7. And that we have the right chipset. In this case, it's the Mega 2560, so we're good there. So this button over here will compile and upload. And in a moment, I'll show you how to test it in the Pronerface software. Okay, we're in the Pronerface folder. We're going to open up the Pronerface executable. We're then going to connect to the printer board. And the first thing we want to do is check that our end stops have a status. So we're going to do M119 for the G code and press enter. And as you can see, the two that aren't connected say triggered, which is fine. And the one that is connected is the optical end stop, which says open. So in a moment, I'm going to show you how to trigger it and then test that it works. Okay, I'm placing a piece of paper in to break the optical end stop field. Now in Pronerface, what we're going to do is we're going to do M119 for the G code again and press enter and see what the status is. So right now it says triggered. So I'm going to remove the piece of paper. And I'm going to do the G code for M119 again. And now it says open. If you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.